What's up guys, Jared back. So I'm assuming that you've read the title of the video and you already know what you're about to take a look at. So that's why we're looking at a um, Nexus 5 turned off and we're just turning it on now. And you'll notice in just a moment, we've got a sweet new boot up animation. I, I really wanted to show you guys this one because I, I just think it looks really, really neat. Um, so as you can see, this is the actual uh, LG Nexus 5 um, boot up BIOS. Uh, boot up BIOS, I said that strange, didn't I? Anyways, so there it is. This is actually what's going on in the background. However, this particular boot up animation is a recording of what the actual background BIOS boot up is doing. Um, the developer, of course, I'll be posting a link in the description below so you guys can go and download it. Uh, but the developer um, actually recorded it on his own. Um, uh, Nexus 5 and then he just modified it so that it's compatible with both the D820 Nexus 5 as well as the D821 So there's gonna be a couple of different um, Files there for you to choose from uh, just make sure you read the description on his uh, XDA page So let's go ahead and show you how we flash this um, So I'm going to assume that you have already uh, downloaded the actual file itself okay uh, <laughs> that said um, go ahead and you know connect your phone to your PC and drag and drop it in there and we're actually gonna be flashing it like we would any other dot zip file so we're just gonna go ahead and boot into recovery by um, holding down the power button and the volume down button and then we're just gonna go ahead and scroll on over to recovery mode and we'll wait for it to jump into recovery and for this one, I'm using TWRP. Anyways, um, of course, you guys are going to be having it in internal storage, but as you guys have noticed in my latest videos, I've been using my little um, uh, micro SD card to micro USB uh, doodad here. So I'm just going to wait for this to bloody fit. There we go. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in now. Mm, wrong way. Get in there. And uh, hopefully it mounts quickly. Alrighty. So we've gone ahead and mounted that. So again, you guys are gonna be looking at internal storage. Uh, for me, it's a little bit different because I'm using a USB OTG for my little thingamajig here. Um, so once you go ahead and locate where the file is, um, literally all you're gonna do is just tap it and flash it. And it takes two seconds. And then you're just gonna go ahead and click on reboot. And you'll notice in just a moment here that it will reboot into um, into the new BIOS boot animation. Uh, now that he he's made different versions of this again for the uh, D820 and the D821, um, you can have it go by even faster, um, or you can even choose the one that doesn't have any color and it's just black and white. I thought the one with color looked a little more realistic, I guess in my opinion, it looks a little bit cooler too. But it, it really quick, <laughs> as you can see, and, and that's it. Um, anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. Neat little way to sort of modify your uh, device so that every single time you have to reboot your phone after a, a new ROM or whatever the case might be um you know you've got something pretty to look at uh that's it though guys again link will be in the description below so you can go and download this and install it yourself super easy as you can see it's via either twrp or uh cwm recoveries so pick your poison uh, but that's it if you like the video click the likes button down below and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future that's it till next time cheers guys